Are you confused in writing a physics journal? Then watch this video to clear all your doubts. Your first page is the certificate page. Okay, write your name on the certificate page, write your class, roll number and seat number. Then the next page is the index page. On this index page, you need to write all the practical headings, only the titles of the practical. So for example, practical number one is refraction through the glass slab. So you will just write the title or the heading of the experiment. You will not mention the entire aim of the experiment. Okay, so in serial number column, write one that is your practical number one. Then second column is about date. So here you need to write the date on which you perform the experiment. Then in the experiment column, as I mentioned earlier, you need to write the heading or the title of the experiment. Here it is refraction through the glass slab. Then the next column is page number. In page number, you will write the range of the pages in which your practical number one is there or you may just write the initial page number from where your practical begins. Okay, And the last column is for your teacher where the teacher will sign. After the index page, you may find couple of more index pages. So use these index pages as in when you need. Yes, one more thing here that once you write practical one or experiment one refraction through the glass slab page number also after that leave one line. Okay, after that leave one line and then start second practical details and then again leave one line and start the practical number three details. So as you can see here after each practical one line is left. One more very important point when you start writing the journal is that you must write the journal with black pen only. Please do not use any other pen for writing the journal. Alright, so after the main index page you may have these index pages, then one more index page and a ruled page. So please do not write anything here on this ruled page. Now if you turn the page further, you will notice that on one side there is a ruled page and on the other side there is a blank page. So on the ruled page, on the top right corner, you have to mention the page number. So page number here is 1. And then when you turn the page again, the next ruled page, on the next ruled page you will write page number 2. Okay, so we are giving the page number only on the ruled pages, not on the blank page. Alright, so let us come back to our page number 1. After giving the page number, you must write here in the margin experiment 1. And after experiment 1, again we will write the heading of the experiment, refraction through glass slab. After the heading, as you can see here, one line is left and then the aim is written. So what you can do is you can write this aim in the margin over here or you can write the aim the way it is shown here in this sample. Okay, so you can write the aim either the way it is shown here or in the margin. After writing the aim, again leave one line and write the apparatus. After apparatus, leave one line and then procedure. Now in procedure, there are number of points. Okay, there are multiple points in the procedure. So first point, that is point number one or A, that heading you can give in the margin and then write the respective point. And after each point, it is your choice whether you want to leave a line or not. That is totally up to you. Okay, so this is on the ruled page. Now, on the blank page, okay, on the blank page, first of all, you must draw the diagram if there is any diagram given in the practical. So when the teacher provides you the write-up for the ex particular experiment, if there is any diagram in the write-up, that diagram must be on the blank page. Now when you give the heading for the diagram, that can be with the black pen or with the pencil. Okay, that heading can be with pen or pencil. But the diagram which you are drawing here must be with pencil only. Okay, now here in this particular practical refraction through the glass slab, there is a practical page as well. Okay, the page on which you perform the practical. That page you must attach. So attach this page on a blank page here in the journal with the stapler or with the glue such that if the teacher flips that page, the teacher 
can see your diagrams. After the diagram, if there is any observation, that observation must be written. If there are no observations and if there is only observation table, then you should draw the observation table. But if there are any observations before observation table, you must write that again on the blank page. Okay, so let me mention that over here observations. So if there are observations that must come after the diagram, if you do not have the space, you can of course go to the next page, write the observation and then start your observation table. So now comes the observation table. This table must be drawn with the pencil, but all the data in the observation table, whatever you fill in the observation table must be with pen only. Now here as you can see in the page number 2, all the points are mentioned of the procedure and after the procedure there is a conclusion. Now this conclusion or the result must be at the bottom of the page only. Okay, So what I am trying to say here is that suppose you complete your procedure in initial 3 lines only on the page number 2, then you should leave this part of the second page blank and then write the conclusion or the result at the bottom of the page. And if there are any graphs in the practical, okay, if there are any graphs, that graph you must draw on the graph page. So if you flip the pages, okay, at the back side of the journal, you will find certain number of graphs. So on first graph paper, write the practical number and the heading of the practical, refraction through the glass slab. And then choose the scale properly, okay, and you must mention that scale on the graph. And beside the graph paper, there is again a rolled page, there you should write the observation table. And if there is any slope calculation, that slope calculation also you must show over here. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.